Hi developers, I'm Hossam Delay, Microsoft MVP. In this video, we'll learn how to use DevOps in Visual Studio Team Services and Xamarin. The goal here is to create a continuous integration pipeline to build our Xamarin Android project. The CI pipeline will start by getting the source code from GitHub, then a second step of restoring the NuGet packages, building the Android project to generate the APK, then copying that APK into a persistent folder so that we can get it later. So let's get started. Here I have a sample application, which is here if I give it my height and my weight, and then calcu click calculate BMI, it will calculate the BMI index for a certain person. So I can do that again here and it gives me the index for that uh, BMI. This app is a simple app here it's an MVVM application so and I have one page called it main page right here that gets the values for the height and the weight then it will execute a command which will calculate the BMI index for that person. This application is hosted on GitHub, so you can find it here. And then what I want to do is that I want to use the source code of this application to build an APK for my app. For that here I go and use Visual Studio Team Services. So I have already created an account and then I have created some projects to play with and now I start from creating a new project, so I'll give it a name. So you give a name for your project and then you start again, but that process takes a little of time, so for that I have prepared a new project. So let's take a look at this one, for example. So here you find your uh, dashboard for your items and your uh, builds that you have done. And if I go to a code right here, you see that this is empty. You know, in, we can upload source code to Visual Studio Team Services as we can do that to GitHub. But here I didn't do that because my code is only on GitHub. It is not on Visual Studio Team Services. Now if I go to build and release, I can see that here I have already created some CI pipelines. And here to show you how to create a new one, I'll go and create a new one by clicking the new. What you can do here is that you can choose a template that might help you to, to get started. So the one which we'll be using here because we are using Xamarin.Android application, we'll go and choose this template for Xamarin.Android. Click apply and here it gives us all the um, pipeline for building an APK. Here the process we have, uh, let's call it the step zero. The first thing to do is to give a name for your process. So let's call it, it here my demo. Then you choose the agent that will create the build for you. And the agent here is like a VM, it's like a virtual machine that have all the dependencies in order to create your build. But it, of course, it's not a VM. It's, I'm just comparing it to a VM. Let's choose the hosted VS 2017 because this one contains uh, all the dependencies we want. Then here we have some uh, parameters we, know we need to specify here. It's asking for the team API key. We don't need those because those are related to some extra steps here. If you want to execute UI tests in Xamarin Test Cloud, then you want, you, you want to uh, configure this here. But we won't do that right now. Maybe we'll see that in uh, uh, later videos. And also here, I'll go and remove right here the uh, Xamarin component store uh, because in my application, I only use NuGet packages and I don't have Xamarin components. So, but if you, you, you are using Xamarin components, then you need to provide your email and password for your Xamarin account. Here I go and remove it. 
Also here I go and remove this extra step for running my unit tests. That's right, here I have some unit tests on my project, but I don't want to build them right now. I just want to build my Xamarin Android application. We'll see in a later video how to build and execute your unit tests. So let's remove it. Also, we do have here an extra step of signing and aligning the APK fa files. Here, if you go and sign the APK file, then it will ask you to provide the key store for your file. Again, we'll leave this for later. So let's just remove this task. And the only thing we'll be doing here is step one for getting sources. And to get the sources, it supports multiple uh, source control management. Here you can um, get the source code from Visual Studio Team Services, or also you can get it from GitHub, which is my case right here. So it, it will connect to GitHub. Here I have done, or I have authorized VSTS to connect to my GitHub account. At, this, at the first time you create the CI here, you will have a button called Authorize. So you click that button, it will ask you to connect to your GitHub account then you will be um, authorized to communicate with your GitHub account. So now I'm connected to my GitHub account. So it will ask me which project I want to, uh, con to, uh, to get from GitHub. Here I want my app, call it Perfect Buddy. So let's choose this one, Perfect Buddy DevOps. I might have many branches in my project, so I need to specify uh, which branch I want to use. Here I only have one branch, the master one. I selected those, then here we need to configure the NuGet packages, restore, so because in uh, GitHub, we only uploading the source code of the application and not the NuGet packages, then here when it will need to build the project, will need those NuGet packages. So it needs to figure out how to get those NuGet packages. Here we'll, we will provide the SLN or the solution file for our application. And uh, this task will figure out all the links to download the NuGet packages. Cool. Then the third step here will be building the Android project. And here you see from the syntax that we are only specifying the Android project, the CS project. The syntax tells this task to go and look for my solution, inside my solution, and look for any folder that have in it a file that have the keyword droid with the extension file .csproj. So it will find my Android project and only run the Android project. That means it will um, ignore my UWP project and also my iOS project. So those two will be ignored right now. After that, it will do uh, the build. Then it will generate the APK, of course then the uh, and that apk is stored inside the agent but after the agent finishes executing this pipeline it will try to delete all my files including my apk so i need a way to save my apk because that's the output i'm looking for so we'll save that apk inside a drop file which is here the role of this uh, fourth task publish artifact. So publish artifact will take that uh, APK and will um, will save it inside uh, a persistent folder called drop. Cool. Let's now run this um, CI pipeline. So I go to click save and queue. Here it is asking me about the agent queue, so I already have chosen hosted VS 2017, then click queue. It has created 
the queue for me so if I go right here we can see it is now waiting for an available agent to run the CI pipeline it have find one so it started configuring that agent but here the build was failed and it failed exactly where in the task for restoring NuGet packages here it tells me that packages failed to install why is that because right here if you go back to NuGet restore then here we do have a configuration that we need to make so if we go to advanced here we should point to the latest version of NuGet which is the um, let's say the v.0.0 let's save and queue that again and run again our CI pipeline the build now was executed successfully in under two uh, minutes and from here we can go to the build and see all the uh, results so right here we can go to uh, artifacts and here this is the drop folder that we talked about so in here if I go to explore we'll find all the output from this build so we can find here our APK is now in this drop folder so we can pick it or we can also uh, download it so this was a simple really very simple CI pipeline and here you see that for every time I want to um, build or to uh, execute this pipeline I need to click Q or save and Q but we do have another cool option which is using triggers we can go and enable continuous integration from here by clicking this uh, switch and then click save what this means it means that in every time a new code is pushed to my github repository the CI pipeline will be executed automatically for me so let's try that here from Visual Studio I'll go and make some change in my code in order to be able to push this uh, version then let's check out or let's commit this code to github let's say commit to trigger CI commit and push here you can see I have a build in progress so if you take a look at that build you can see here it triggered that uh, CI pipeline automatically for us after just committing a new version of the code so this was a very simple CI and uh, pipeline but join me for next videos where we'll take a look at some advanced uh, CI pipelines so here for example we do have a CI pipeline that contains more uh, tasks here for changing the Android APK version or for executing unit tests for signing the APK and even publishing the APK automatically to Android Play Store so I hope this video was helpful and thank you